What did he find? What did he find? Oh my gosh, it's a thrifty find. Welcome to another episode of Tom's Thrifty Finds, the episodic show where I find thrifty finds and then I look up information about them, see if there's any interesting, maybe talk about their history. That's what I do. So if you like this, go ahead and do what you do. Today, we're talking Slinky. I got this for 99 cents at Goodwill. Still got the tag on there, right there. Oh, I pointed at my microphone. 0.9, and then there's another nine. You're just gonna have to trust me on this one. Woo! I'm rabbit slinky. What a fun thing to have! You know, it's slinky, it's slinky for fun. It's a wonderful toy. I'd go good talk talk time. I feel like kidding you. But honestly, how do you how do you uh, age a slinky? You know, what are you, what are you gonna do? Some carbon dating on the slinky? I mean, without the box, what do you know? You could even if you had the box, what if you put a little this guy in there and be like, hey, this is vintage? Yeah, it's ninety nine cents at Goodwill. You could buy it new for two ninety nine uh, at Rite Aid. Rite Aid has them. You know, two ninety nine. You can get them at Amazon for. Eight dollars and two cents for some reason. You can get them at Target for three dollars and eighty-nine cents. You can get them at Walmart for three dollars and eighty-five cents. <laughs> Save some cents there. <laughs> How about this one at Walmart for one hundred and seven hundred and seven one hundred and seven dollars and fifty-eight cents? That's right. They made a fourteen karat gold slinky. I mean, come on. I bought it. No. <laughs> Just kidding. I would not spend that much money on a slinky. I mean, come on, you gotta get real. But hey, it's made in the USA. You wanna know how this toy was invented? <laughs> Some doofus mechanical engineer dropped a spring coil and then it kinda did a little thing. Instead of just falling down, he was like, did a little dance around his feet. And that's how the slinky was. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it happened, you know? Pretty interesting, huh? <laughs> All kidding aside, Richard James did come up with this idea of the slinky uh, while he was working, and it was an accident. So in 1943, he was working on designing springs that could hold sensitive equipment steady while out at sea. He dropped one of the springs, and when he saw the spring walk slowly, <laughs> kind of like this, you know what I mean? When he saw it walk gracefully, you know, it didn't just fall, he lost his freaking mind, man! Hey, he thought it was cool, so he's like, hey, I could make a toy out of this, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm gonna go home and tell my wife, Betty. <laughs> so that's what he did. He went home, talked to his wife, Betty James, and the name Slinky was all Betty. Betty went scouring in a dictionary one night and found the word Slinky, which is defined as sleek and sinuous in movement or outline. And this happened in 1944, she came out with the, the, the slinky name, you know? You just gotta look in that dictionary. Sometimes you just gotta do the dictionary. So they had the idea, and they had the name. The top two things you need to invent. Idea and name. You gotta have a good name, clever name, especially when it's a Tory. So in 1945, they took out a $500 loan and co-founded James Industries. That same year, the Slinky toy hit the shelves, but kind of had a rough start. People weren't really digging it, but then they convinced a local department store in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That store was called Gimbel's Department Store. And to sell the product, they did a little demonstration for the people, and it really caught the eye at that point. And they sold out 400 Slinkies within two hours. And each slinky was only one dollar. <laughs> wow. This is how you get slankies. <laughs> slankies? This is how you get slankies tangled. Ooh, what if this is a slanky? Hey, guess what? National Slinky Day is August 30th. Get ready. It's hey, fun fact. During the Vietnam War, soldiers used slinkies as a radio antenna. Hey, the slinkies even been to space. Margaret Ray Seddon did a zero gravity demonstration with the slinky in 1985. In 2000, slinky was inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame. 
By the way, in like 1966, I think, uh, Richard James, the inventor, he went off to follow some uh, religious organization uh, in Bolivia. I don't know. He died there. He had a heart attack. Then Betty James kind of took over as CEO. She was inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame, you know. So she got all. So yeah, good for her, they did it, woo! Nowadays, people are like, Slinky, what's a Slinky? I don't know what a Slinky is! But the Slinky's prevalence is maintained through the Slinky Dog character in Toy Story. Which is interesting because the Slinky Dog is actually a vintage Slinky toy. Slinky put out a bunch of toys that were various animals, there's... They got the hippo, rabbit, they got a kitten, they even got a train! How cool is that? My personal favorite though... It's the snail. I'd like to get my hands on one of those bad boys, but apparently the snail wasn't that good. It wouldn't really spin unless it was on like a soft carpet. Oh, wow, oh man, I still want it. Whoa, slinky time! Get this, vintage slinkies. Whoa, slinky time! <laughs> yeah, vintage slankies, if you will. <laughs> they don't go for too much money, maybe up to like 30 bucks. I'm pretty sure you'd need the package for it to really be worth anything. I'm a little loopy. Whoa, slinky time! <laughs> Can't argue with the snail, come on. You don't want it? You don't want the snail, Slinky? <laughs> what does it mean to be human? Hey, we got a bonus, Jerry. What do you want to, you got to do it for? So my friend, Ryan, you know who you are, sent me this. Automaton. Very difficult to play. This is the smaller version. I guess there's multiple sizes. I think they even have a keychain size. You can open and close his mouth to make him louder. Change the pitch a little bit. Hi, let's go to mid. Let's go to low. <laughs> Peace be with you and uh, find the truth in all things. Thrifty, thrifty, Tom, thrifty finds. What'll he find next? I don't know. Guess you'll just have to watch the next show. Tom's thrifty finds. Doo -doo. Yeah.